This was me. I'd been sick for a week. I felt demotivated and crusty. I had been sitting on the floor in front of my heater for 40 minutes in the late afternoon. And at some point I decided that it was time to decrust and unslump. It was time to reset and time to refresh. This video is a little documentation of my mini journey from feeling crusty and over it to feeling decrusted and motivated. So the first part of decrusting is gonna be decrusting my space because it's crusty. Crusty as heck. Start. One rule that I always follow when I feel demotivated is go slow, don't stop. I take my sweet time getting to where I want to be. I don't put pressure on myself. This is not a race. I just go slow and don't stop. And that's exactly what I did as I cleaned. When you don't feel good, you don't try to get your space perfect. You try to get your space feeling functional, feeling okay. So we are having some crusty food. Leftover jackfruit pizza from crust, which is incredible. Something is better than nothing. Mm, mm, mm. After I tidied my office and my bedroom, I went to have an everything shower, which is an essential part of getting yourself to feel better. I've got a candle, never once lit. I have a Yui Boom. I have a piano playlist. I have an exfoliating mitt. I have a razor. I have my lush Christmas body wash. I put on fake tan, which is always a feel good move. I chucked on a load of washing because I had no clothes to wear, which doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna feel so body good tomorrow. I can feel it in my bones. Then I set my alarm. So I've gone alarm free for a week because I could not sleep from sneezing. Putting this alarm on was like a confirmation that I was going to get back into some kind of routine, which felt so good. The next morning I woke up, showered off my fake tan, dried my hair, put my sunscreen on. So today's gonna be broken up into two parts, future self, present self. So future self is all about doing little favors for future me. So these are things that I don't really feel like doing, but I know having done them, that they're gonna make future me really happy. And present me is like selfish things that I just feel like doing. Getting my nails done, going thrifting, having a good time. Oh, crazy. So the very first future me task is to tidy the house. Yesterday, you saw me tidy this area because the rest of the house is a mess. I'm going to set a 30 minute timer. So firstly, we're gonna tidy the kitchen. It's a mess. I'm gonna clear off all of the bench space. Look at this. Stack the dishwasher, put the dishwasher on. We're gonna spray down the bench, get it clean. We're gonna tidy up the lounge area just a little bit, as well as this little hallway area. The bathroom is covered in clothes because I had all intentions of doing washing. I still have intentions of doing washing. That's one of my future me tasks. I'm just gonna organize these piles a little. I did a mini tidy of my office and my bedroom. Hey Google, how much time do I have left? Oh. I am a bad time predictor. I got the whole area clean, but the clothes are still there. And I had to collect more from the dryer. Clothes are gonna go away. And as soon as I got started with my clothes, I had one of the best kind Hello. of interruptions that definitely yeah, helped me to feel better. I'm sorry, why'd you call? I haven't eaten anything. This is there. It feels really good. Sit down, baby. Mm. Tell me what how it is. The pick him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. I had to have a burger break, now I'm back to it. Then I finished putting my clothes away. Just having clothes accessible feels so good after a week of no washing. Done. So what we're gonna be doing next is testing a meditation. Technically, this is work. So this is a meditation for my app intention. Basically what it is about is picking some kind of behavior that you don't really want to be doing. There is a part of you that is performing this behavior because it thinks that that's what you need to keep you safe, to keep you connected. This meditation is about finding that part, communicating with that part, showering that part with love. That meditation made me tear up a little, which I feel is a sign of a success, a good meditation. I'm gonna make a few little edits on the laptop, only really tiny ones, and then I can take that task off. Now I'm gonna do a quick trip to drop off some library books because my library card has literally been banned. I also stole a library book accidentally the other day. I'm holding a lot of library guilt. I dropped all of my books off at the library. I get way too many books out every time I go. It's like I go into a scarcity mindset around knowledge and I need to get out everything that's mildly interesting. Something I've had for a little while is a little new nose ring. It's gold to match my gold necklace. And this afternoon, as part of my selfish tasks, I'm gonna get a little piercing here. So I thought it'd be a good time to change my nose piercing. So here's a nose ring that I have. It's silver, I've had it forever. Like I have not ever taken this out. And this is my new ring. It has little ridges in it. She's out. Now, we need to put this on in. I almost need um, pliers. Like, do you know what I mean? I think I have some. 
So I'm gonna, just gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, there was a way better way to do that. And you're putting in Michelle's nose ring. Your nose is still a bit red, but it's cute. I really like it. So now me and Amy are doing a, a little life map date. So this is, I think, future me. This is still, we're still in future me, working on goals, that kind of thing. Amy and I did our life map date and then I drove to the piercer to get my industrial piercing. It's actually a faux industrial piercing. Okay, so I'm outside of the piercing shop. I'm gonna get a little industrial, but with a chain. So like a way less intense industrial. I'm kind of nervy. I feel like with piercing, Things. I'm very much like, not that I've had that many, <laughs> but they're kind of similar to going to the dentist or getting a blood test where every time I'll just be like, this will be fine, this will be fine, this will be fine. Then I'll rock up and then I'll be like, oh, like there's pain involved in this and I'll get real nervy. It is a girl doing my piercing. Last time when I went to this place, it was like a more intimidating, like tattooed up dude. She's probably going to be an intimidating tattooed up gal, but I feel like that makes me more comfy. I'm excited. I'm excited. Obviously you can't get a piercing every time that you're feeling demotivated, but I'd been wanting this for a while. So I was like, this is going to feel good this looks like the kind of place you go to die okay so this is where we're starting so basically they said put the bars in first because if you have the chain connected it's gonna get caught it's gonna get infected better to put the bars in first come back in six weeks get shorter bars come back in six months get the chain so it's like a whole process the person at reception and the person that did the piercing are is like the opposite of intimidating so kind so lovely so if you ever want to get your piercings done flesh impressions they were just so nice i want to be friends with them my next stop was nails to complete my full body refresh my nails were bad bad I've got my hair bobby pinned up so that it doesn't get caught in my piercing. And now I'm gonna do a bit of meal prepping. Probably not too much, but just enough to like have a few healthy meals for the next few days. So I made this batch noodle stir fry because not only did I want to feel good that night, I also wanted to feel good moving forward too and food makes a big difference. So after yesterday, I am feeling well and truly decrusted. This morning, what I'm gonna focus on is doing a little decrusting of Michelle B, the brand. So firstly, this photo has been there for like two years. It needs to be changed. So that's gonna be my first act of today. Okay, so here is what we are changing it to. How do we feel? Does it look a bit corporate? Let me know. How do we feel about this photo? So my next step of decrusting Michelle B is to do a really quick update of this banner. <laughs> Okay, here's the final result. We're really not going fancy. But now that I've made that change, I'm like, yep, the main profile picture, too corporate. We're changing it again. We've landed on this one. I don't love it. You win some, you lose some. That's what we're going with. The next thing we are decrusting is my books page that is on my Michelle B website. So right now, this is what you'll see. I don't even think that this list is that old. It's just that I read so much that this list has changed a lot. Here is my new books page. So we've separated it into categories, starting with self compassion flexible behavior change because that's what I'm all about creating change from the inside out we really reordered things around here so I built my books page using Squarespace which is what I use to build all of my websites my mushelby.com.au website my intention app website there are so many things to love about Squarespace but some of the things that I love the most are firstly it's wildly easy to use you don't need to know how to code drag and drop so simple, so easy. Secondly, they have beautiful templates. So if you're like, I really don't know where to start, you can use one of their beautiful templates to make a beautiful website, regardless of your design skills or your coding skills. And also no plugins, no patches. A dream. I've had websites hacked before. I've had plugins expire and then my website has been broken. We don't want to deal with that and Squarespace makes sure that you don't have to deal with it. Squarespace is flexible no matter what you want to create your website for. So if you are creating an e-commerce site, they have that option. If you want a membership site available to you, if you're an artist or a designer and you just want a portfolio, or maybe you even just want a resume or you want a personal website or you're a creator and you want a website like me, you want a blog, Squarespace can do it all. If you want to create a beautiful, easy to put together, low maintenance website, use my link in the description below, squarespace.com slash Michelle B use the code Michelle B. Once again, use my link squarespace.com slash Michelle B code Michelle B to get 10% off of your first purchase. Create your own beautiful low maintenance website. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing with my day is refreshing my house. So usually this is the kind of thing I would do on a live admin day, but I specifically want to focus on just the inside of my house, making it feel fresh, making it feel good. Starting with the most dreaded, one of the most dreaded areas of my house, which is these shelves. Let me give you a tour. All of the OGs know that I have problems with these shelves. These rooms have just moved around multiple times, so I've had to reorganize these shelves multiple times and I'm over it. I also recently got these shelves and I got those drawers. So a lot of the stuff that was in these shelves has moved. And naturally, because there's empty space, junk has taken over so this is the top shelf it's empty bar a few little i think they're bags 
travel bag, random baskets, security cameras I need to set up, travel bag. This is where all the craft used to be and it's all just tumbled over. This is stuff I need to get rid of in a car boot sale that I'm gonna do one day. It's scheduled for next weekend, but we've pushed it a few times. This used to be my tech shelf and now it's just my anything shelf. Random clothes, tech stuff, books, Shelves I want to put up eventually. Spare coat hangers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take every single thing out, put it all on the bed, and then reorganize. We have empty shelves. Now, repacking, reorganizing, making this space as functional as it can be. So there's a whole bunch of stuff stored underneath our bed that used to be so easy to get to when we were in the big room and there was heaps of space around the bed. But right now, like, this is the sliver we have. Since we have empty space there, I'm gonna get all of the sheets and things that are sitting under the bed and I'm gonna store those in our shelf. This is what we've ended up with. So, car boot sale stuff there, any travel stuff there. Picnic and camping stuff, kind of, there. Those are my aesthetic books. Some of the books that I read aren't very cute. They don't look good in pictures. So we have a pile of aesthetic books here. So we've got sheets, fitted sheets, pillowcases, duna cases. The only concern I have is that we have a whole empty shelf. But I was thinking, Luke and I are actually going camping soon. We've never had camping gear, so maybe our tent could fit in there. I don't know if a tent could fit in there. It's just a relief to finally have that taken care of. Like, that feels really good. Every time I open up these doors, something falls out, except for just now. That's when it wouldn't happen. But if you looked inside, yeah, I'm gonna show you. She's stuffed to the brim. Getting that cleared out is probably a five minute task that I tell myself every quarter I'm gonna do, but then I don't do it because I'm like, oh, it takes five minutes, like it's like two seconds. And then it proceeds to annoy me every single day for months on end until we get here and I do something about it. So that's what we're doing now. So I went ahead, I took everything out and put it all back in, got rid of things that didn't need to be there. I moved things around that didn't belong there and it feels so much better and things don't tumble out when I open it and I am happy. So now I wanna try and get rid of this weird mark on my computer chair that has honestly been there for like a year. Lately, I've been noticing it more and I'm like, oh, I should do something about it. I don't know what it's from, I'm guessing coffee. So we have this little spot cleaning machine. So the stain was here, but it's been vacuumed. Nah, it's definitely gone, for sure. This is my mouse mat. It's looking rough. So I'm gonna quickly do something about that. Our calendar is still on June. Which is no way to start out a month. We're in like the first few days of July right now. So I'm going to tear it down and I'm gonna fill out our blank new month. It feels like a fresh start when we move to a new page in the calendar. The last thing that I'm gonna do is organize the snack section of our cupboard. This is where we're at right now. So everything's just kind of meshing in together. <laughs> That looks so much better. So I reorganized this little snack section. I got another container up in there. And in the end, it looks so much better. I still definitely want to think about how to make this space a little bit more functional. From time to time, I make live admin videos, which is where I just batch get a whole bunch of things done. So I'm gonna have that playlist linked on the screen. You can watch it in the background while you get stuff done or just watch it to motivate yourself to get up, get moving. Link on the screen and in the description. I appreciate you so very much and I'll see you soon.